Okay, if you're new to my channel, you probably don't know this about me. I am mad about Aldi. I'm a stan. I have a whole playlist of Aldi grocery hauls. And so to my returning subbies, y'all know what this is. This is a real-time shop along video. I'm making a charcuterie board. Now, Aldi, you know, surprised me on this one because I discovered they were running a promo that helps you assemble the Comfort Food Maven approved charcuterie board. Thanks for watching and let's go ahead and prepare a charcuterie board together. What is the Kalkuchi board? This is the Kalkuchi board. I want the Kalkuchi board. Huh? For Christmas. Order this Kalkuchi board. Kalkuchi! Listen, y'all, don't get upset like Nana. We can make this Kalkuchi together. Anyway, <laughs> the internet is rife with people who are mispronouncing charcuterie. People have called it a charcuterie platter. Car coochie, like Nana was doing in a TikTok. And if you know the name of the person who created that TikTok, let me know in the comments below because I want to add it to my description box and give full credit. Anyway, back to Aldi. I'm going to do this little shop along. So I'm grabbing these cashews. I'm grabbing really a variety of savory, salty, crunchy, cheesy, and sweet items that's going to round out our charcuterie board. This type of platter is perfect when you just want to have a little socializing appetizer plate that lets your guests just nosh on all the salty, sweet, crunchy goodness, giving you playful flavors and textures that you could just experiment with. So I made mine for Christmas Day so the kids can snack on until Christmas dinner was prepared. So essentially, Aldi, it's got everything you need. I love the six cracker assortment. When you get to the cheese section, however, it's like mind melding. How wonderful, how expansive, how just what a wonderful, wonderful variety of cheeses from all over the world they're going to give you. It was very overwhelming. But if you just like very simple things like cheddar, extra sharp, stick with the cheeses you know. Don't go too far out of your palate's liking. Um, I like a little sweet cheese, so goat cheese will do it. This gingerbread one, oh my goodness, it surprised me. I didn't buy the eggnog one, although I was very curious. So again, if you like milder cheeses, that's gonna be your jam. If you don't like really aged, very strong cheeses, go for what you know. Again, go to the milder side of things, get cheese spreads as opposed to hard aged cheese like Parmesan. I was gonna, I did pick this up I ended up not buying it, but I do love Gouda. So I was like, I'm just gonna stick with Gouda and things like that, that I know my family really will take too. So again, when you're in Aldi, just really examine what type of cheeses you like. If you like the mild stuff, go with the provolone. If you like it a little bit more savory, stronger cheeses, blue cheese is another one you can use. There's so many types like the aged cheddars that they have. I'm just like, oh, listen, I ain't know cheddar was doing all this, y'all. Anyway, I'm just going extra, extra, extra on this video because I have fun. Now, one of the things I didn't realize is that they would have this section fully devoted in cap promotion to charcuterie boards. And even though the store I was in, everything seemed picked over, I was able to rescue a few things off this end cap, such as these, uh, what do you call them, crostini, um, little hard breads or whatever you want to call them, panini toast. I don't know. They were there. I picked them up. I love the sea salt caramels. I always buy those. You can get that in a candy section. I love their dark chocolate almonds. Fantastic selection of the things you need to prepare a charcuterie board. You get your dried fruit. You get some fresh fruit. You get some nuts. Now, as far as these sweet jams are concerned, and then there were some savory jams. I didn't purchase these because I wanted the sweet to come from the fruit that I put on my platter, such as apples and the Philippine mangoes. But I'm very curious about this onion jam or chutney. I think the next time I see it, I'm going to pick it up. As in regards to this crostini toast, I have a couple of little issues I had. The garlic and herb ones, while they were very flavorful, 
they came out the size of like croutons in the bag. I didn't really love that. The sea salt ones had a little bit more space on there, a little bit more uh, surface area to really slather some cheese on there or meat or whatever. I spent in total $198, but that also encompasses some groceries for the week. I had liqueur in there. I also had some things for my mom and my lasagna dinner, which I made for Christmas. That's a whole different video though. So you wanna get back home, lay out your tray or your cheese board. I gathered some bowls as well because I wanna add a little bit more dimension to my setup. And then for a bonus, it was lovely that Aldi provided this brochure guide that shows you what goes into a charcuterie board. You might wanna pause the video right here to get a screenshot. And that way, if you're unfamiliar with building your own cheese board or your charcuterie platter, you know what all goes into it. Listen, shout out to Aldi for getting your girl together. I love this. So let's get this coffee and let's roll y'all and make a charcuterie board. So after we've laid out our items and got them strategically organized for planning your tray, I decided to start with the soft cheese, which was the goat cheese that's flavored with gingerbread. I put it in this little serving bowl, kind of cut it into pats of butter type sizes. So it's real easy to kind of like put on your spoon or your little serving fork for your tiny plates. Okay, we're gonna start out with some grapes and I'm gonna add my soft goat cheese right next to that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lay out my other assortment of cheeses, which includes some fondue. This fondue was really nice. I, I can't tell you how much I just really enjoyed it. So on the back, it tells you how to prepare it. You need a fondue pot or a small crock pot to melt it into. It's basically like Gruyere and some other Swiss cheeses in there that has a very tangy, sweet kind of sensation goes perfectly with apples, dunking your crostini bread in there. The back of the box with a fondue also recommends you can cook potatoes and dip your potatoes into your fondue. So basically I'm gonna push all that fondue, like kind of thick packaging, clumps of cheese into my mini crock pot. Okay, I've been preheating my little mini crock pot now. This is also an Aldi find from a long time ago. And so essentially that's gonna melt together. Keep your eye on that though. If you cook your fondue cheese too long, it will burn and just basically reduce down to oil. Okay, next I'm gonna prepare my smoked Gouda cheese. And I could have left it in this little wedge, but I decided to go ahead and slice it. I don't want to make it hard for my lovely sons to chop into. Just want to have it all laid out and prepared. Uh, I also bought some Harvati jalapeno cheese and some of the honey goat cheese. I saved that for later. I guess we'll use that for New Year's Eve. But this is just me slicing up a few pieces of the smoked Gouda. Okay, now that I've layered up a little bit of my smoked Gouda on the tray, we're gonna add these stackable bowls that I got from Aldi. Yes, these are another Aldi wonderful exclusive from the middle aisle of shame. You never know what you'll find in there from day to day. Now we're gonna add some prosciutto ham to our board because we need a little salt. And so this served as like a really nice delicate piece to this platter. You kind of layer it up real nice and light. Um, I didn't follow the brochure to the letter of the law, but I kind of just used my intuition. So like I have sweet on my plate, I have creamy, I have crunchy. Now it's time to add a little salt, which is the prosciutto ham. To this assortment of crunchy, sweet, and savory, we're gonna add some rosemary crackers, as well as sea salt cashews. 
Later on, we're going to balance all that out with the tartness and sweetness of an apple. The apples make a nice accompaniment to cheeses and really went well with the fondue. I probably could have used a few more vegetables on this charcuterie platter, but I did not. Some people like olives. I am not a fan of olives, so we're using these small baby dill pickles instead. And then I'm gonna layer up some more meat on here via these turkey cocktail sausage weenies. And then we want light and refreshing via the berries. The berries also went nicely with my champagne, so hey, there's that. Lastly, we have some chocolates to round out this charcuterie board platter, the sea salt caramels, as well as the dark chocolate almonds. Remember the fondue cheese from earlier, which my children love dunking their crackers and their crostini toast in. I like putting the apple in there. It was a nice balance sensation. And lastly, we're rounding it all out with some nice refreshing sparkling wine. We have a non-alcoholic variety as well as this dry sparkling wine that was also in the liqueur section at Aldi. Totally forgot to mention I did use the Philippine mango that's rounded out in the back of the tray. Anyway, bone apple to the tea. I hope you enjoyed the charcuterie shop with me video and create with me. I'm Latrice Kelly. Thanks for watching.